today's session myself sudeepta and my colleague viru we both are going to take you through the journey how cloud compliance as code is going to be beneficial across the program just to start with let me introduce myself i am sudeepta i am the software architect of cisco systems india private limited i have almost uh, 20 plus years of experience on delivery management satcom supply chain product risk management and mobile telecom i am working for cisco for last 8 years almost and uh, i am here handling the devops expertization and the delivery optimization using the devops so i am positioned here as a devops architect uh, i do have almost 25 publications in various international forums so that's pretty much about myself now viru is going to introduce himself i am myself viru and i've been working with cisco for close to 9 years i've been working as a full stack developer i've worked with cisco on various enterprise applications on device provisioning and collaboration application provisioning over to sudipta thank you viru so a recent uh, survey that we find out uh, through some research it shows that 86% organization site compliance overhead as a key concern while they are moving from traditional data center based approach to cloud what does it mean the business is getting highly impacted at the organization level when they start the compliance to be certified their software or their data centers whatever is getting moved into cloud now the problem statement is little bigger but how our analysis is going to help over there or how our solution is going to help over there let us give a quick glance on that so multiple industry and country specific regulatory standards has to be compliant so it is a regional need it is a geographical need and on the average a cloud solution enterprise has to comply and must comply with 13 different regulations which is huge significant effort goes for audits and collecting evidences a research so shows that cloud solution enterprises spent dollar 4 million annually in compliance activities so you can imagine a huge amount of money every year goes behind the compliance that organization has to bear a huge cost now frequent changes to assets which are going to deployed in the cloud that is also another major concern so 40% of cloud solution enterprises deploy at least once a week and every time during the deployment a high performance deploy deployment has to be certified and compliance with all the regulatory rules so this attracts a huge amount of cost as well lastly but not least the no common understanding of compliance requirements so inside a organization when we performed a survey we find out the product development teams often not aware of specific compliance requirements thus it compromises budget schedule and attracts an overhead so to address all these problem statement what is the solution this slide basically talks about that how the compliance are getting controlled in today's world in any organization level so you want to certify a virtual private cloud public cloud or private cloud or on prem data center for each of the stand alone things to be compliance checked a separate compliance engine is being maintained the organization are struggling really too hard to bring all this compliance check in under the single umbrella so most often the cross compliance check policy are not being checked or are not being made using this particular model 
what we have tried to do in our solution is that a single pane of glass where the virtual private cloud, private cloud, public cloud, on-prem data center, network and devices, compliance check can be done in an easier way. So we promise that CCASI is ready to provide a single view of compliance across all the application layers, data center, network, software, and device compliance. So we as an user would like to compliance check of certain software, network, or data center. So CCASI provides you the compliance engine, which maintain the details of each device, cloud, application that is onboarded in this platform. What next? It also check the different state of the compliance. So once you onboarded your application or onboarded your software or device, the target components will be run against a compliance profile to certify its compliance check. And this compliance profile is already a predefined set of regulatory rules which is certified or standardized across the globe. So if you would like to check PCI DSS or GDPR, according to that, CCASI will maintain the predefined regulatory profiles. Does it mean that platform is only able to check against the standardized regulatory profiles? The answer is no. If you as an organization would like to build up the customized regulatory rules or customer specific regulatory rules, or you would like to define the regulatory rules on the go, CCASI also supports those kind of facility. So regulatory rules, any kind of, which you would like to bring in this platform, feel free to bring here customize it according to your need, and that can be standardized and checked against any application software, cloud, or devices. The compliance engine triggers the compliance check based on type of device or application chosen on the list. User can also be allowed to edit the compliance rule, which is the benefits of novelty for this particular model. Now, once the rules being automatically selected against the user profiles or against the device that you want to undergo the compliance check, the automatically the compliance check will be performed by a zero touch model. A single compliance check engine for all type of compliance check will be run behind. So the basic flavor is that from the traditional compliance check policy wise where the separate compliance engines are being regulated for each different types of profile here you are going to use a single compliance check engine and ultimately the compliance report will be visualized in the database and comprehensive dashboard so at any point of time, if you would like to retrieve the uh, past remediation report, that is possible. And also the latest remediation report, you can visualize from the dashboard. Now, what is the value it is going to bring to the business? While integrated CCASI with an extensible DevOps platform, it promised to add value to the on-prem as well as the CX cloud. So building your device or application, testing it, validate it, and deploy it makes it much easier while integrating CCASI with a standardized DevOps platform. Now let us see that how CCASI is going to be used as a standalone platform. Viru, over to you. Thank you, Sudipta. Let me take you through the clean UI, the simple UI, which we have built for the CCASI. So this is the compliance dashboard where we have the login page where we punch in the username and password to sign in. 
So once we sign in, what we see is the list of devices. So the devices which we have onboarded to the system. Now, when we want to run a new compliance check for a new device in our system, in our uh, staging environment, environment, so we onboard that device by giving the device ID and the IP address credentials, the username and the password, and what type of device this is. So currently we support on-prem Linux and AWS. So we choose this as on-prem Linux and we save this device. So we see that the device is created successfully and all the devices which are onboarded are listed here. So if there is anything wrong with the device, we can edit this particular device and update any information which we want to. Otherwise, we can leave as is. Now, once the device is onboarded, we can run the compliance check on the device. So as Sudipta mentioned, there can be multiple profiles for the uh, device. So we are going to choose PCI DSS as a profile for this execution. So the execution gets started in the background. So this will be checking on the device. It will be executing each and every check. So we check the status of that execution. So we see that it's in progress and it is last updated at a particular timestamp. Now we refresh to check the status. So, and we see that this is completed. So once the execution is completed, we get to see the complete compliance report. So we click on this button where we see the com complete report. This is a tablet format where we see on which device this was executed, which profile, and what was the completion timestamp and how much time it took. So this is a table where we have paginated data. So each one is a, as a control, control ID. We have a description for the control and whether it is passed or failed. So this data can be paginated as I mentioned earlier. So we can see multiple pages. We can go through the pages as well as we can list up to 100 records in a page. So that's for the user's uh, convenience. So now once we have this data, we can also sort this data on the description, also on the status. So you now we can see the failed ones first, and the skipped ones are the successful ones. So that is the sort functionality what we have in the dashboard. Once we have this data visible, we can export this as an Excel. So this is useful basically when we want to share this report with other stakeholders who may not have access to this dashboard, but are pretty much interested in the report of the device so that they can take any corrective actions on the device. So this is the format of the Excel where this is actually a copy of what we see in the UI. So this has all the control ID, the description, and the status, whether it is passed or failed. So the failed ones are highlighted with red, passed ones are in green. So, so this is on the compliance check. We also have list of all the executions, like past executions of, uh, for all the devices. So we see that for AWS EC2, there are four executions which have happened out of which one is a failure, the other three are passed. So we click on the past execution and we see the status of that. Again, we can see the details earlier as we saw for the on-prem Linux device. And these are the supported profiles. So currently we support, for you know, on-prem Linux, we support uh, CIS and PCI DSS. For AWS, we support CIS. And then we have a simple user management in the UI where we can onboard new users. Let's say I onboard a username Sudipta with the username Sudipta and uh, first name, last name, and a password for that user. So once we punch in these details, we can save this and let's verify that whether that user is able to log in or not. So let's sign out this user as an admin and then log in as the new user which we just created. So once this is this user here logs in, he can go and update his own password so that you know, nobody else can log in with his identity. So that's the user management in this UI. So we go back to the devices details. Again, we can onboard new devices and those sort of actions we can do. So that completes the demo of this simple dashboard. So I hand it over to Sudipta. What do you, Sudipta? Thank you, Viru. So 
now let us have a quick glance that how CCAC can be integrated with DevOps platform. Uh, for the ease of simplicity, we have used a Cisco standardized DevOps platform where we will showcase you the demo over there. So as you can see here, that this is the DevOps platform where we are going to register the CCASI. The dashboard we are going to use over here. Here you can see that CCASI already registered. We will be getting into the software tab where we are have already registered the software and devices as part of the inventory. So the inventory management is being handled over here for adding the devices or adding any device on-prem or AWS or VPC AWS, all those things. Now, once you run the compliance check over there, you can go back to the executions and we can visualize from that particular window that how the on-prem device compliance check is being happened. So here we are adding one input device. You can see that instance status is showing running. It asks for the device, which device you want to run the compliance and which profile you would like to run. So this is what check compliance on-prem. Do you want to run? It kicked off. Now we are going to check the actions if anything is there. What is the stage of execution from the DevOps platform that we can visualize here? Here we are just going to select the profile on which we are going to run. So compliance profile being selected and the device has been selected there. And at this point of time, the flow basically would be executed in the backend. So if you go back there and check compliance status, execution status, you can see that run in spec. So basically the chef in spec is being run in the backend, which you can visualize here. And once the execution is completed, the action field will be showing the, the report. As Viru has shown earlier over there, the same report you can visualize from the DevOps platform as well. If you would like to filter or just would like to check the failed status on what all things has been failed or skipped, those details you can filter out from the DevOps platform and can visualize it. For the sake of simplicity, you can also download it in the Excel as he has already demonstrated from the dashboard, same functionality we have integrated also in the DevOps platform. So here you can check the reason of failure and where it is failing, those things you can be easily marked here. So basically this status report can be used for the remediation for the bigger audience or the project management team where we cannot actually access the DevOps platform. Now, being said that, what is the unique benefit proposals we are going to bring it up? The automated test against any standard compliance profile that is the benefit of this compliance check model. This is a single system. Real-time data can be visualized, which gives the total preview of the compliance posture. While integrated with CI, CD, CT pipeline, you can run the continuous compliance check. That is the advantage. Compliance as code, for consistent understanding of compliance requirements across the organization. We promise to bring one organization, one compliance policy to be checked. That is why it's a single engine compliance model has been proposed. With this, we are ready to bring value into Cisco's business. Now, the problem statement is that 86% organization overhead, which con concerns about putting a lot of effort from moving data center-based approach to cloud, that problem, we have a solution for that. The recent survey where the compliance activities spend a lot of money, we have a solution for that. How? CCASI is the cloud compliance as code, is the framework 
where compliance meet DevOps. With DevOps, you can automate it. You can reduce the overhead. You can reduce the cost behind the compliance check. Our wow factor. We promise to integrate this with the digital twin environment support, the unified compliance framework support, and the closed loop compliance with ACI integration. Integration with CX Cloud and OneX portfolio is going to bring value to the Cisco's business. Tikasi, where compliance meet the DevOps. Thank you.